Hi, beautiful. Today I'm giving you my unfiltered opinion on some celebrity looks I saw at this year's Paris Fashion Week. I know you love it when Sassy Bride comes out and he is coming out today. <laughs> I'm feeling spicy. This is a gay man's fantasy to just give an opinion. This is what I live for. So I'm finally letting myself do it. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, this is Kendall Jenner at the L'Oreal Paris Fashion Week show. And I just gotta say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I first saw this look, I was like, <laughs> but then I pulled it back just a little bit because I was looking up close at the glam and if there's one thing that I hate more than anything and I hate a lot of things is a red lip with a red dress. It gives clown to me. She is obviously looking extremely beautiful and I know that's a very classic look. I know 90% of people love it, but it is one of the ugliest lip colors I could ever think of. The dress though, impeccable. The color with that pale skin just really pops. I absolutely love the corset moment. I know putting that dress on was complicated. I don't know who made this dress, but we'll put it right here. You ate the house down boots, the gloves, the full covered foot with the a matching heel. I absolutely love this look. I should also mention her hair is blonde and she looks incredible. She really ate. We have Kylie Jenner here and she is wearing a Miu Miu and... <laughs> oh my... Oh. The thing with Kylie is when she glams, she f glams. Her hair and makeup looks absolutely impeccable. She's glowing. She looks youthful. She looks radiant. She looks soft. She looks not overdone. It's not too much of that Kardashian glam makeup that we got used to. And right now, less is more. Also, this dress. I don't know what is going on. I feel like the dress alone, it's giving like a little bit granny. But then you mix the jewelry, the cuffs on the arm, and all of a sudden, it becomes a youthful, stylish, cool look. Without the shoulder straps, it wouldn't have been the same look. Am I the only person who thinks that? Please let me know. Comment below. Please also at the end of this video, make sure you comment what your favorite look is. We'll vote at the end together. So just wait for that. The only thing that I don't like love is that like white thing coming. It looks like she's a napkin tucked in to the top. I don't know. She went to eat pasta and she put a little like bib on herself and then she just like tucked it back in. It's good otherwise. While we're on Kylie Jenner, we have to talk about this Scaparelli look. The thing with Kylie is if she's gonna do Paris Fashion Week, she is going to serve body. The BBL is BBLing and I love a good BBL. It looks on her. Her body is like, it is crazy and unrealistic and it looks so good on her. I just know if I was a girl, I would have a body like that. I would be so BBL, it'd be crazy. Ooh, I would have big and a little like, cause why the fuck not? Life is too short to not do all that. But also if you don't want to get surgery, I totally get it. Do whatever you want with your body. The dress is giving not a whole lot. I feel like I could find this on a lot of places that are not that expensive and that's okay. But it does look a little generic. I think it's when it's cut out like that, it easily gives trashy. Not saying she looks trashy, but it's borderline. And then the cuffs are cool. I think again, the accessories really help the look a lot. The hair, beautiful. I just love a glossy, glowy, wavy, hair moment. It is not super inventive, but it is still really pretty and her glam looks the same. It looks beautiful, natural, and glowy. And I like that. And she knows she's just certain f body, bitch. I like a girl that's like confident, you know? That's what's hot about it. It's like when she moves, she's like... Like that's the only reason why I want to be a girl sometimes is because they can just serve bitch. Like they can just be like... I do that and I just look corny. I need to go faster with these because there are so many looks and maybe I'll do a part two if you want it. But we have Alex Earl going to Mew Mew. Obviously Mew Mew is a more preppy grunge and school girl. You're cool, but you're still like young, but you also are still preppy and like live on the Upper East Side and you have like too much money to spend. So you wear a Mew Mew and I f Love that aesthetic. Like that is so good. The outfit isn't giving that for me. I don't know what I would prefer, but maybe just like sort of bandeau top made out of that same khaki material with like the little Mew Mew logo in the center would have looked really cool and beautiful. The white t-shirt is just so white. It kind of just like stands out to me and kind of distracts me from the whole look. Yeah, I don't know. The hair, the shape is just a little bit weird for me. It's very flat and it kind of just like, I would have preferred her hair up in just like a really tight back 
ballerina bun, and then like the office siren glasses, and maybe some high white socks. You know what I'm saying here? And Mimi is just like known for the skirt these days. If you're gonna do a skirt, make it shorter. Not that she could have cut it or whatever, but it would have been nice shorter. We also had Ariana Greenblatt. I have to say she looks comfy. And you know what word I don't like using to describe a look that a woman is wearing? Comfy. <laughs> you can like comfy, but I don't. I don't know. I feel like if you're at Paris Fashion Week and you're serving comfy, I don't know if it for me, it personally makes sense. Unless you're going to Vetmont or Balenciaga. I don't picture Miu Miu as being like a comfy cute girl look, but they did dress everybody in comfy cute girl looks, which I don't know where that came from this year. I guess they're just trying to be more relatable and cool and like easy going. To me, it's kind of ruining the aesthetic of Miu Miu. I don't know. I thought always Miu Miu was kind of cut and like cool and vibey. Uh, the pigtails, I wouldn't have done it, but I get it. The red polo shirt, you could literally get that anywhere. I have an issue with fashion when you can get the look on Amazon and it's high fashion prices. That's what kills me. Shouldn't we just do something that's a little fashion forward? That it's looking into the future and not something you can already get? Or just a nuanced way of presenting that garment? That's how I feel. The whole look is just blah. I really don't have anything to say about it. It's just a jacket and a polo and a long skirt and some, I don't know, clogs. I don't, I don't know what's on her feet. I can't really tell, but something not great. I think for the Ariana one also, it's the fact that these extensions are down to her waist. Now, I feel like if we wanted to do the pigtail look, it would look better at a natural length with actual hair ties, like white hair ties. It doesn't even feel like her. You know, I'm sorry, Ariana, but it's gonna be a no for me on that one. Yeah. We also have Chamila Chabello in Miu Miu in a, some kind of kilt situation. It's not actually kilt, I know, but it's like, it looks it reminiscent of a kilt situation. And I love a kilt. It's fine. Just bring back the mini skirt. I don't love Camilla's brown hair. I don't know, the blonde. It just gave her such an edge and it was so fashionable and just brought so much coolness to anything she wore that now when her hair is brown, it is harder to stand out. So you have to kind of overcompensate when you have brown hair, in my opinion. When you have blonde hair and it's platinum blonde and it's such a look up here already, you can just get away with any kind of clothes and just look cool. Okay, Katy Perry wearing Balenciaga. <clears throat> the wet hair trend was so good when it first happened, but we are soon entering 2025 and we are still doing the same wet look. I think it is overplayed, overdone. You can do so many cool updos. You can do bangs. You can do a bang moment where it's like a high pony, a low pony, a bun, a f Bob, blonde, red, pink, blue, any color, and you can make it a look. It's not even giving wet most of the time. Like it's giving, I haven't washed my hair in two weeks. But let's talk about the fashion because that's what we're here for. It's so ill-fitting and not in a fashion way. If you were my stylist and you took that out of a shipment, put it on a rack and I had to look at it, I would say, what high school student designed this? And I would say they should keep learning. And I know that it's a, it's, it's a vibe that Balenciaga likes to give it's kind of all a joke in a weird way. The joke seems to be so overplayed that like things look kind of bad and cheap and sh** that it almost makes me feel like, can they actually make things that don't look like a joke? And it doesn't have to be totally out of the realm of Balenciaga, but maybe some fitted clothing would be a really cool future for Balenciaga. Like imagine just going the total opposite direction from totally baggy to totally skin tight. I don't know, I think that'd be a cool trajectory for the brand and really kind of amp things up and make it feel new again. But that's just me. Back to Katy Perry. I hate those sunglasses. I don't like the dress. I would have a hard time leaving the house in that. And at least she feels good. We also have Kim Petras next to her wearing this red moment. This makes me feel like Balenciaga is progressing a little bit, this one. It looks still Balenciaga because we have like the pink sleeve underneath the red dress. Like everything's very covered head to toe. Very Kim Kardashian, Met Gala. Remember we all thought that was crazy? I didn't. I thought it was c and beautiful and amazing, but now everybody does it like head to toe covered and she looks decent in it. It's not my favorite look, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Yeah, I don't know, the bag with it. Bringing a bag to a fashion show never makes sense to me. It always distracts me. Maybe a backpack would have been cool just to really like spice things up and make it look purposeful, but it looks like she forgot to drop her bag with her security. Like it's not giving good, it's not giving great. The ponytail, I don't like. Would I have preferred a perfectly pin straight down to the boob region hair moment. F yeah, with like blonde streaks. Yeah, I would like that. That's a great idea, Brad. I feel like Balenciaga ends at the neck all the time, but let's bring Balenciaga into the hair. Where are the Balenciaga hair accessories? The hair is one of the most important features of a woman. We just let it not even be a thought in her head. <laughs> 
Okay, here we have Jenny Kim at Chanel. She is signed with Chanel um, as their ambassador. So it makes sense that she is there and she is wearing it and she is like, thank you for my check, um, but may I go now? I don't know what Chanel could do to really spice things up. But for me, as a gay male at the age of 29, I am unenthused with the vibes that I'm seeing with Chanel for many years. I wouldn't put my worst enemy in this look. I think the colors are very scary. I think those are shoulder pads. The mini shorts are fine and they're like kind of a staple of Chanel at this point, but this print, can't really see it. Is it a snake print? I don't know, but it is like this green mossy color with this, this bright blue. I can't think of one thing that I enjoy about this outfit. I think that Chanel has a lot of good pieces and I think that there are so many cool things that Chanel makes, but for some reason, when it comes to the styling of Chanel, it always makes zero sense to me. I don't know why. Maybe I truly don't get it because I am clearly not a Chanel girl. Poison. <laughs> Would I rock a tweed mini skirt and jacket? Yes, but that's different because I am a guy and a guy wearing a tweed jacket is so fun. Cool. I don't know, are people still wearing this? Besides like 50 year old Upper East Side women, and they are a big market. I see them. They are still buying their $20,000 tweed jackets. And I appreciate the business. The pearls, obviously a classic staple of Chanel, not my cup of tea. I just think there are so many ways to reinvent Chanel and make it look so much cooler than it is right now without having to change a lot of things. Even if the necklace was silver with the same outfit, I would be like, whoa. <laughs> Chanel is really making some changes changes around here. That's crazy. But we can talk about the glam. I think doing an understated natural glam look is perfect for this over the top outfit. I like the hair without the outfit. With the outfit, I wouldn't have done blonde. It's looking a little bit like color blocky and a little bit dated. Even if her hair was like a soft pastel blue for the day, just to really go with this look and try to make it work and try to give it more fashion. And we gotta lose the bag. You can't convince me it's good. And I'm so sorry. Oh, sh up next, we have La La Lisa, can you teach me Japanese? And she is teaching us not only Japanese, she is teaching us fashion. You couldn't have ate this mother look up more in your entire life if you tried. This is impeccable and the most beautiful Louis Vuitton look I have seen in a very long time on a celebrity. It is giving me a new era. It is bringing back the cool Louis Vuitton. You know, I think a lot of brands are just getting a little bit like slow and like just doing the things that work and it's kind of giving me a little bit boring, but I think that we're getting back into this moment. These designers are giving us looks. They're starting again. They're like, hold on, hold on. We know it's getting boring. We're about to give you some more shit. Let's talk about the glam. Her hair color, I have a hard time explaining colors without saying the actual color. Like I was just like a level six copper natural hair and it's very original and very beautiful. It's not quite a total copper look. It's not at all cherry cola, which is also trending. It is a totally new vibe and she always rocks the bangs and it looks incredible. The lip color, this is a sort of red lip done well. It's more of a blushy red lip, but this looks nice. And guys, guess what? I didn't think this was gonna happen today and we gotta write this day down because this is crazy. I like this bag. The chains is so Balenciaga, but when Louis Vuitton does it, it's giving cool. Because it's not common for Louis Vuitton to do that, it gives me interest. The charms, I mean, it's cool. The rings, the chunky rings. I love an over accessorized look when there's just so much going on that it's like, holy fuck, where do I look? But you have to overdo it. You can't slightly overdo it. You have to overdo it for it to be cool. And Lisa clearly knows what she's doing with fashion because she always looks fly as fuck and good as fuck. The Louis Vuitton monogram is printed, but kind of like printed on the skirt. The mini is miniing. The belt going down to her knees is so fuck cute. The leather top with the leather jacket. The leather jacket looks like it weighs 85 pounds, which if you're going to put a leather jacket on, I need that shit to weigh 85 pounds or else I'm not going to feel cunt. I'm sorry, I'm not. Zendaya. Off the bat, do I like it? No. Is the red lip distracting me? Yes. This might be too advanced for me to understand, but does it look like it is a bacteria zoomed in on a microscope? made into a skirt. Yeah, the jacket is interesting. That white button makes me a little sick. I, the shape of it, I don't like it. I don't like that it's tilted. It drives me crazy. The little handkerchief thing, whatever that is. I don't know why it's in her armpit. I don't love it. And guess what? She has a handbag 
with her and she was probably forced to wear that. So I get it, but it looks crazy. The hair, it looks like a men's coif. I think she was going for that. I think that it was like a men's inspired, but still feminine sort of twist of worlds. My opinion, I wouldn't look back at this ever. Okay, I know that this is not a stylist style look and this is a fashion show. We have to mention this look, we have to. Like I couldn't make this video without talking about this look. Kendall Jenner for Scaparelli, I think that this might have been my favorite look on a celebrity this Paris Fashion Week. This is what I could call perfection. The mix matched earrings, great, but mix with the hair is perfect. Then we have this beautiful glam that is not overdone. Scaparelli knows how to do glam with a look. They know how to complement the major look with glam that still is in its own way beautiful and architectural and really eye-catching, but understated at the same time. This chignon moment in the back of her head is perfectly done. Whoever the key stylist was for this, I mean, y'all slayed and ate at the same time. The corset top. Could her body look any better? And then the low-rise dip down jeans. I mean, I don't even like jeans, like jean colored jeans, blue jeans, you could call them, I guess. But this look, I would wear blue jeans for this. And I'm sad I'll never see her wear this again because I think it was one of her best looks ever. I have not one critique. I wouldn't change a single thing about anything about this entire look. She looks good as hell. Cardi B wearing a Mugler. <laughs> Listen, she is a petite little girl, and for a petite little girl to wear fashion looks like this is not easy. Like, I know because I'm not the tallest person ever, and even when I'm wearing sh like, I need to make sure it looks good on my body. Like, I am not Kay Jenner. Uh, like, we need to make sure our bodies are looking good and the proportions looking right, but she tends to always do it. Her stylist and her are just an amazing duo. They absolutely, almost every single time, I just don't think I've really ever seen a horrible Cardi B look ever. The hair, oh my God. This is what fashion hair dreams are made of. I don't care if she can see or not. It's not about seeing. You go to a fashion show as a historical moment to look back on and think, I ate that up. You don't have to be comfortable in the moment. It is so that you have something to show and look back at when you're eating Cheez-Its on the couch and chilling at home. You can look and say, yeah, I'm that bitch. The black lip liner perfection. I think she also has like a jewel on her face. I would have probably done without it, but it still works. So Mugler, but also still kind of looking new. This is inventive. She looks incredible. I don't think she's over accessorized. The tights are obviously a big theme this fashion week. Tights are in baby. She looks very, very well done. And this is not an easy look to pull off. I love the fact that the hair complements the entire look. That's hard to do without doing a tacky but they did it. Oh, I haven't seen this look until right now and oh sh Cardi can't do anything bad with fashion. This Rick Owens look, I'm getting chills. Everything is perfect, the hair, the gloves. She looks gothy, vampy, and it is working in unison perfectly. It just looks like she is that character and that she's always dressed like that. Some girlies can do it, some girlies really can't. And you know what, that's okay. We can't all be the best, but Cardi B, can't be. All I have to say about this look is it's iconic and will literally go down in fashion history. Not a lot of celebrities are invited to Rick Owens and when you are, this is how you should do it. Up next we have Johnny Sa at Acne. All I can say Johnny is that I am so extremely jealous. If you put my mother in that look, I would tear it up. I think you look incredible. I saw these pants in the store and did I almost buy them? Yes. Did I buy them? No. Should I have bought them? Yes. Would I have only worn them once and then been like, what am I else am I gonna wear this to? Yes. But should I have still bought them? Yes. I have nothing bad to say about this outfit. I think that the styling, the hair, the makeup, the necklace, this charm, an orange rope necklace mixed with this charm necklace. It's a beautiful pop of color. The belt print on the pants is impeccable. This sort of disheveled, sort of greasy hair look. I couldn't ask for anything better. This is how men do fashion. You don't need to look feminine, but you can still look really 
cool, okay? You don't have to wear just something plain and boring and simple. And Johnny, <laughs> you tore. Madeline Argy, Argy, Madeline. I do know that she ate the look from here down. This jacket, if I don't get to wear it one day in my life, I think that I might be fine because I probably won't ever wear it. But I, would I like to? Yes. She's wearing a lot of layers. Shorts with another thing, with another thing, with some cute little heels. Would I have liked a knee-high boot better? Yes. Would that be predictable? Yes. So I think that this is the next best option or the first best option. The glam for me was not it. It's just extremely safe and I'm sure that's what she feels comfortable in. Imagine I brown blunt bob perfectly smooth soft glam just like a little smoke under the eye that's what i'm imagining for her she's beautiful but the jacket looks like it's wearing her but she looks great jules lebron miss demure herself is she looking demure i would say maybe demure i think it is understated oh by the way this is bottega i don't know but i would love to see a dark hair moment like i don't know like this outfit needed like a dark like long dark hair. I feel like this is kind of hiding her. I don't like the black and white. I don't like the boots with it. I don't know why she's carrying a fan. I'm guessing it was very warm that day. The glam girly pop bitch in me would f never bring a fan anywhere. I don't care if I'm about to faint. I will not be fanning anything. I don't know. The makeup, not my favorite look, but she's slaying and she's eating the bitch up and I love her positive attitude and I'm so sorry for giving this a bad review. However, what does it matter? As long as you feel good about yourself. Addison Ray in Mew Mew. I am not obsessed with it. Is Addison Ray the perfect Mew Mew girl? I think there could not be any better match. Never mind. The look is growing on me. And the reason why is because it is so her and just makes sense. And her angelic personality mixed with this cutesy little outfit she's wearing just makes me be like, ew, like so adorable. I love it. Honestly, this one, I just feel like we could have just went with a black shoe. But I do love the hair. I love the makeup. We're doing a side part. Can you believe it? The side part is coming back. I would never let the side part go. The side part is everything. But I love the way her hair is kind of tucked behind her shoulders. The styling is very adorable. She's wearing a bag because she probably has to. The knee length skirt, so her. The colors I think are maybe washing her out, which kind of bothers me. And then her skin is very cool tone. It's just kind of a lot of contrast. I think if it was just like a more pure white, I would have liked this a lot better, but it's very fashion forward. And I think this is the best Mimi look we've seen all day. Dick Dixie, I feel like, was on a lot of shows this year. She is at Courage, and I love this look. The top is just so inventive and cool, and I don't feel like I've seen that shape before, and she is rocking it. It's a little tight, maybe, but it might have not been her perfect size. The makeup, I would have loved it softer, loved it dewier, loved it glowier. The hair, understated and cute, goes kind of with the vibes. I love that it's like a pant and a sh long shirt. It's just a really cool look, and it looks really fucking sexy and pretty and made me want this look, which I think is what fashion's all about. The understated black shoe with the tights, I think, or high socks, beautiful. I love this look. Dixie at Balenciaga. I feel like I know that you think that I'm gonna say something that I'm maybe not gonna say, which is that I hate it. It's because I grew up going to school in the early 2000s and this is the sh that girls would wear. And I feel nostalgic about it. It doesn't make any sense, but that is what's so fun about it. This is definitely a hard look to style hair with, but maybe just down, like just simple, just middle part down. The eyebrow area looks a little bit like too dark. It's a lot in the face and the outfit is really a lot too. I just think we could have toned down everything. We could have let the the whole look speak for itself, but I don't hate it. Is that crazy? Let me know below if you think I'm absolutely insane for vibing with this look. This is one of those love or hate type of things, and I think I'm on the love side. Charlie D'Amelio wearing Prada. I think that this is a great progression for her style-wise. I think that she's finally feeling a vibe. It's not like the typical 18-year-old sexy look that every girl goes for. The skirt is so cool and inventive. The jacket is not my favorite, but the way that they zipped it up and styled it like this, I think makes it more, like 10 times more interesting. Glasses, I love. The lip, I'm not crazy about, but it is interesting. But the look is very cool. All right, speed round. Camilo Cabello wearing Paco Rabanne. Uh, it's fine. You know how I feel about the wet hair. The dress, I don't know, nah, boop. It's just boop. Uh, personally, no. Rose from Blackpink with Saint Laurent. Not my favorite look either. The shoulder off, I can't do it. Just put the jacket on your fucking 
shoulders. It's supposed to be worn. It gives me 2019 wannabe fashion influencer. But otherwise, the dress blends in with her skin, kind of makes it look naked, fine. The fur jacket looks like I could've got it at a thrift store. And the hair, I just think I would've liked a more natural curl texture rather than like actual ringlet to like wave curls. Overall, it's not my least favorite thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, while I was just making this video, Kylie Jenner clothes for Caperni and she could not have ate this sh up more. The setting being the castle at Disney Paris. Ugh. With this impeccable f dress that I would get married in if I was a woman. The styling is perfection. It's so casual and chill with the hair and the makeup. I love that it looks like a trash bag a little bit. It's just beautiful. This dress is what dreams are made of. In the land of where dreams are made of. The fact that the bottom of this dress is wrinkled too, I love it. It just looks casual, cool, and still very princess, but fucked up gothy cool girl princess. But it's not overdone and it's just flawless. I could literally cry. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, before you go, please vote on what your favorite celebrities look was. Here they all are. Please take your pick and let me know right down below. I want to know what is your favorite. It's very important for me. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this. I hope you liked this. If you liked this fashion moment going on on my channel, again, like this video and subscribe and leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you check out my hair care line, X Mondo Hair at xmondohair.com. It is linked below. We are entering countries all around the world. So check if your country is listed right there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. That was a weird, ugly wave. Bye.